welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this makeup look that I'm wearing right now. I tried this look yesterday. There's dogs barking now. I tried this look out yesterday and I fell in love with it. I was just experimenting with new eyeshadows and I wanted to try something different. With Valentine's Day coming around, I thought this look would be perfect for that occasion and I don't know, I'm kind of ready for the spring at this point. I'm very pumped for the spring and for the summer and I think this look is going to be perfect for that. But I just thought it would be a great look for Valentine's Day coming up because you have a peachy pink and oranges and I don't know you guys, I fell in love with this look and I couldn't wait to create it on here to show you guys. I wanted to experiment with color but still keep it neutral in a way where everybody can wear this look and not feel like you have just pink eyelids or orange eyelids. I don't know if you guys know what I mean. Still kind of keep it neutral and I think this would be perfect even if you guys want to kind of step out of your comfort zone and try different things besides neutral tones like browns and mauves. I try to keep it as minimal as possible and as you guys know I like to try and keep my looks as affordable as I can. I'm still sick. I don't know if you guys can tell by my voice. But I just wanted to get on here and create a makeup tutorial for you guys. So I really hope you guys enjoy it. And if you do, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you guys would like to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. I'm going to start off by priming my lids with the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer and mixing it in with the Kat Von D Concealer. I decided to skip on this step just because I feel like you guys have seen me do this a million times. And I'm moving straight into eyeshadow and I'm using this orange eyeshadow from MAC Cosmetics. And I'll be sweeping this in my crease and windshield wiping motions. And I decided to go in with an orange just to kind of switch it up a bit. And this is going to be our transition shade. To give it a little bit more of a natural depth, I'm taking Soft Brown from MAC and placing this right on the outer corners of my crease with a MAC 217 brush. I really... I concentrated this on the outer corners just to give it a little bit more depth, but not too much, if you guys know what I mean. And this is a warm tone, so I thought it was perfect. And this is the star of the show. This is in the shade Paradisco from MAC Cosmetics. And I thought it was the perfect shade to use for this look because it's kind of like a duochrome. It has like a rose gold tone with kind of like a peachy undertone. I don't know. It's really weird and unique. But I absolutely love this color. I really want it to be a little bit more metallic-y. So I'm taking the Wet n Wild setting spray and spraying my brush. Picking up a little bit more product and laying this on my eyelid. And as you guys can see, it actually makes the eyeshadow stand out more. And with all the blending, the orange kind of wiped down. So I'll just be adding a little bit more orange. And on my brow bone, I'll be taking a white matte shade from the Carly Bible Palette. Then I'll be placing a little bit of whatever's left over on my brush from what we placed on our eyelids right there. Just to give me a little bit of shimmer. Then I'll be going in with some mascara, just one coat of this because I'll be placing some falsies. And yes, I know I'm skipping out on the wing today, but I really wanted to keep it soft and romantic. To get your lashes as close as possible to, to your eyelashes, the best way to apply them is with some tweezers. It has saved me so much time. Moving on to the face, I like to apply the Wet n Wild setting spray before applying my primer because I really feel like this makes my foundation last longer than taking my primer to diminish my pores. I go ahead and apply this as how I normally would. Then taking the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation, I'll be applying this and you guys know I'm obsessed with this right now. I can't put it down. Every time I do my foundation, I use this. I really like it. It keeps me matte throughout the whole day. Yeah, it's amazing. And as you guys know, I've been using this Real Techniques brush, buffing brush. I really like how airbrushed my makeup looks. And then after, I like to take a damp beauty blender and just dab it on so everything looks nice and flawless. And this just picks up any extra foundation so I don't look cakey throughout the day. By the way, this isn't a Real Beauty Blender. It's from NYC. I'll have a link down below for you guys. Then taking the Kat Von D concealer, I'll be placing this under my eyes for my under eye circles and then I'll be patting it down with the Beauty Blender. And to sculpt and highlight, I am using this NYX Face Duo and I'll have the shade down below because they have multiple shades. This is a new product and I'm still testing it out to see if I truly love it or if I don't. So far I'm loving it because I love how lightweight it feels. It really does the job of highlighting and contouring. So right now I just applied the light shade to highlight and I'll be blending this out with a BH Cosmetics brush. You guys know I have them all down below. Then I'll pat it down with the Beauty Blender. Thank you. 
been taking the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. I'll be taking the light shade, and this is the Dulce de Leche Contouring Palette. I'll be placing this on all the areas where I highlighted. Then taking the darker side of the NYX little face duo, I'll be placing this on the contours of my face, basically on the outside perimeter of my face just to give me dimension. So like under my cheekbones, on my jawline, my temples, and also a little bit on my forehead. And then I'll be blending this out. What I noticed as I was blending this out, it's how easy and blendable this is. I like how it's not heavy at all. It feels super lightweight, like I said earlier. This shade is perfect for my skin tone. I like the depth that it gave to it, and I do have dry skin, so I think this is really going to help preventing my skin from dehydrating with so much powder contouring. And I wanted to take a different brush just to make sure everything is well blended because we do not want any harsh lines. And to clean everything up, I just took the light shade that we used to set our highlight and took it all over my face and, you know, just blended everything out just to make sure everything looks nice and clean and polished. And to contour my nose, I'll be using the dark side and cream contour my nose. I used my fingers just to blend this out and then I'll be taking a separate brush and just adding a little bit of the lighter shade from the other side of this duo. I really did like the way it contoured my nose. It's better than just using the powder, but to set that I'm going to be using the powder, just so you know, it doesn't budge throughout the day. And to set the cream contour, I'll be taking the dark shade in the Wet n Wild palette, and I'll be placing this on all the places where I contoured. So underneath my cheekbones, the sides of my temples, and also my jawline. For blush, I am taking my favorite blush, which you guys know is the NYX Cosmetics Baked Blush in the shade Wanderlust. And to highlight, I am going to be using the Benefit What's Up highlighter. I love using this as a base, and I am going to be blending this out with my fingers. And then I go ahead and apply my favorite highlight of all time, which I am still using, and it is the Carly Bibble from the Carly Bibble palette. I went ahead and mixed both of these shades today just to give me a little bit more of a golden undertone. And I like to pat it down with the Beauty Blender just to give me a little bit more of a highlight and it can look natural. And for the inner corners, I'll be taking the golden shade and place this there to give me more of a glow and a pop. Recently, I've been using this Stila Huge Mascara for my bottom lashes and also my top ones. It's my favorite mascara. Very little bit of this goes a long way, so I go ahead and apply this to my bottom lashes. And I will not be applying shadow to the bottom, just to keep it nice and fresh. And for my lips, I am using the Essence in the Nude Lip Liner and lining my lips with this. I'm going to be outlining just a little bit because it's not going to look as noticeable. And for lipstick, I'm using the Meat Matte Hues from The Balm, and this is in the shade Committed. I absolutely love how soft pink this lipstick is, and I seriously feel like it matches the eyeshadow perfectly. On the center of my lips, I'll be taking the Ofra Cosmetics Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick and placing this right in the center of my lips just to make them appear a little bit bigger. And this is a peachy toned lipstick, so I thought it went perfect. And to set my makeup, I'll be using the Wet n Wild Setting Spray. Thank you guys all so much for watching and if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you guys aren't subscribed already and if you guys would like to receive more notifications from me don't forget to follow my social media don't forget to leave me your requests down below on anything you guys would like to see next and that's pretty much it i'll see you guys in my next video bye